very opaque color here, really purple, purple black. Uh, still, the rim is indicating it has a, a few years of, of evolution. Very expressive nose. Very sweet fruit. It's almost like, um, I would say, port like, showing high ripeness with very sweet fruit like uh, dark blackberry, cassis, dark plum. But there's a certain aromatic um, component of like um, ripe herbs, adding a certain freshness to that. Mm. Really good, this one. Very dense, still a youthful um, appearance with a really, really dense and concentrated um, those layers of inky dark fruit like uh, cassis, dark cherry plum. We can go on with everything. We, we add some spice box to that, but I like the freshness we get there from some, some fresh herbs. And um, yeah, that cassis feeling with the herbs brings my mind a bit to, to Cabernet. Might not be in there for sure, but uh, it's certainly that, that dark fruit, the opulent style. However, I feel that the tannins are not, uh, we have a good, uh, quite grainy, powdery tannin in there, but uh, already well settled. And um, this really expressive and rich fruit doesn't really make, you, you don't really feel any oak. And a very good length as well. And uh, certainly no hard edges. A wine that drinks really well, but uh, doubtless with this concentration, it's easily a wine that could be put away for another eight to ten years if you like that more mature style of wine. Uh, I'm very curious what this is. Uh, I, I like it a lot actually. 